families or careers, getting into the retirement or, or beyond, you start to see that, that broadband at home starts to come down to where you're almost at half of, the, uh, of those in our 65 plus that, that <clears throat> have broadband at home. And again, half of, of those that either have broadband or a, a smartphone. And, and again, if I, uh, if I address my uh, loving grandmother, uh, 103, we got her an iPad saying, Grandma, this is a way for you to communicate with us. And she said, I'm going to do my crossword puzzles. Here. Well, you can do them on the what? No. Uh, you know, so there's... Um, you know, there's some not really resistance, but uh, uh, recognition of value of uh, of uh, the tools that, that are available or, or the opportunities to engage with technology. Here's a little um, bit more about those who own a, a smartphone, broken down a little bit uh, more, and you can kind of see again as the population ages. I uh, hear those with smartphones uh, uh, go way down. I'll give you another example. My father. 78. Um, we had to get him off a smartphone and, and down to something that he could see the numbers and letters and, and things and be able to use it because he just wanted to answer the phone and text. And he, any of the other stuff was too much for him. And you know his his fingers and, and so forth just couldn't interact with with everything that was that he was facing. And and all he wanted to do was answer the phone and and, and do some texting. And but. There, you can still see this as, a, as an opportunity, a growth opportunity, especially as you see these populations here moving into these age groups and bringing this technology with them uh, and the use of that technology with them. Uh, uh, again, uh, some more uh, information on the population. Uh, for those that don't go, uh, um, uh, or this is the percentage of folks that just don't go off online, again, by those same age groups we showed uh, earlier. And you can see again as, as the, the population um, uh, groups are, are older, uh, there's a higher uh, uh, percentage that just don't go online for any, any reason. Again, an opportunity as, as these groups here age, you're going to see those numbers uh, you know, go down. So you'll, you'll uh, see more and more uh, uh, percentage of those that are engaged. But what does that mean um, uh, for the, the senior population? Um, here's, uh, for those that do uh, use the uh, internet, right now 85% of all adults are, are online in some form. And of those that are in that, that uh, 65 plus, 56% uh, are online. And uh, uh, of those that have broadband at, at the home, the 70% then, you can see again that 43% uh, have broadband. That's an, an opportunity as, all, as well as a threat. Um, as more and more of these folks, you know, the, if you saw earlier the, the populations as they pull that technology need with them, they're already using it, they're going to still want to use it as they age into this, but to what Brad was saying earlier, they may not be living in the same home that they had broadband in before. And now maybe they're in a retirement community or, or some other living condition. Um, and, and what does that mean for them? What, what infrastructure needs to be in, in place for them to be able to tap into? As they move into retirement, is cost an issue? Uh, the cost of, of having broadband in, in the home, is that an issue uh, uh, for them? So a, again, um, uh, uh, this is uh, an interesting um, you know, statistics to be looking at and what does it mean as we project forward. And again, an increasing number of all adults are using their mobile device for online uh, connectivity, whether that's the smartphone or whether that's uh, a tablet uh, device and, and so forth. Uh, social media, um, uh, social networks uh, here. This is uh, a, a graphic, again, that uh, the folks at Pew, uh, uh, their research showed uh, uh, again, over time, what's happening here? You can see everybody is is uh, uh, engaging with uh, uh, the social networks. Uh, and if you look at these last two lines, these are are uh, uh, 50 to 64 is is in the the light blue, and then the in the gray, the 65 plus. You see them increasing uh, with all the other age groups. Um, There's not a plateau there, so there's still opportunity of engaging, especially as you see the, uh, uh, the, the yellow line here, 
and as they age into to these groups, you see what the demand is. What does that mean? There's many more uh, in our older populations that are going to want to be using social networks as, as well. And if you look at a lot of our social networks today, are they geared towards the older population? No, it, it's, it's typically the younger populations, although you, you hear about Facebook and, and others who are seeing their demographic age and making some adjustments that themselves. Um, some of the motivations for using the, the social network uh, here in, in the, uh, the, the 50 plus uh, age groups are staying in touch with, with family. That's the number one reason. And if you think about your own families and, and, and how uh, I know in our family, Facebook is, is used by all of the adults to put the pictures of the grandkids up or, or the event that they went to or, or connecting uh, on, on various things that are going on or uh, um, uh, other, other uh, social network uh, opportunities there. Um, and uh, uh, the, uh, for adults that are under the age of 50, however, it's, it's staying in touch with friends uh, outside of the, the, the family unit, which is an uh, interesting uh, comparison there. Um, one of the things that, that we do see is, as well within the age groups is um, uh, how they uh, use, uh, whether it's internet or, or social networking, uh, to uh, uh, engage with uh, uh, healthcare information and, and using uh, social uh, networking for, as, as you can see here, uh, the, the blue is, is folks that are living with a, a chronic condition at least one, and those that are looking at, at uh, health information online. And you kind of see an interesting uh, 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 dynamic here that as you age, which you expect, you, you have, you're living with, you know, more folks are living with at least one chronic condition, but you also see the using social networking or, or other media to uh, uh, look at uh, mm. and find healthcare information, it's, it, it takes a nosedive. Um, so is that an opportunity then? Is, is uh, what we see when we work with um, uh, seniors is that many of the health information, uh, social networks, or other information sites are so confusing to to use uh, that there's so much going on uh, on, on the website that it's hard for uh, some of the older folks to to actually engage with with those to find relevant information for for what they're looking at. For, and, they, and they give up on her. They get frustrated uh, with it. So we think that that's part of this. But again, as as our population that is using at a high level, the, these groups right in here age into this. We expect that demand to go up. And and, and what does that mean from a technology standpoint as as well? Um, some of the just I thought this was interesting and, and wanted to throw it out there again. What people are looking for. For us, we look at this as an opportunity to design programs to help uh, uh, seniors uh, in, in finding information that, that's relevant uh, to them. So uh, we look at um, uh, what information like this says to us to design programs that we put together for seniors. And uh, so you, you can kind of see that um, as, as folks age, certain things are more interesting to them uh, uh, you know, pregnancy and uh, childbirth is of no interest to people that are 65 plus uh, uh, there, or or even those that are in the 50 to 64. But they're more interesting in that 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 18 to, to 24. Uh, so we typically wouldn't put a program uh, uh, together to to help those in the the seniors in those populations to search for childbirth um, or, or pregnancy. But we would, on the other hand help them in doing, you know, putting programs together to show them how to search for specific uh, medical problems or medical treatment uh, uh, there to, to help them become comfortable in using those, those environments that are readily available to them. Some of the barriers that, that we've seen and, and are, are confirmed by the research that Pew did last year, um, folks in, in the 65 plus need assistance in, in engaging, by, by and large, they need assistance in, in engaging with technology. Most folks in this uh, age group do not, on their own, go out and engage in the technology. What we have seen is that they have technology that was given to them by their kids, 
or you know a, a gift. You know, like I, we gave our like 103 year old grandma an iPad and thought she was going to engage.